Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a live on War Day video coming at you guys from our war against Three Point Park going on right now. And uh, you can see here how things are going pretty early on still. We'll catch some live attacks. Kind of a weird war though. The matching got messed up. We accidentally had one Town Hall 10. I think that was too high of a tier. So we agreed that they will not hit our top Town Hall 10 and we will not hit their bottom Town Hall 10. Everyone can still attack though. Um, it makes sense. I'm, it, trust me, it makes sense. A little bit confusing, but basically we're trying to level out things so one Town Hall 10 on each side cannot be hit. But anyway, I will hang out and wait for some attacks. Here we go with the first one, uh, Marij uh, Marahan, I think. I think you don't go hard on the J. Um, anyway, coming in here with what looks to be a Queen Charge Baby Dragon, something we don't see very often, but um, we'll see how this one shapes up. Has a uh, a pretty good chance, I think, with the air defenses being all so accessible right there, plus the queen um, and some pretty uh, good buildings in terms of them being all air targeting. So it comes in here with some balloons. That one gold storage is still up, but I think it might be a little bit too far away to pull his queen. The uh, the balloons that came in took away the baby dragon times two damage and didn't uh, allow it to get the gold storage in time, but there's a wizard to help it go down anyway. Uh, right here is going to have to pop the ability. Oh, it was close. I guess technically he didn't even need that rage because everything was over by the time he dropped it. But he'll get some okay value as, as she steps up for some of these buildings. Um, there's the king and some bowlers on the other side. I guess to kind of create the funnel and get that other air defense and start walking down maybe. The healers are taking some serious damage though. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing he was trying to wall breaker in early because that wouldn't make any sense. Um, he, I guess he just waited too long to drop those wall breakers, brought her in too low, and as a result, yeah, this one's not looking too good. Um, the queen's a huge part of this attack, and all those healers besides one are toast. Um, he does have the ability, though, and there's only one air defense left up. The only concern is there's quite a bit more base besides that for those baby dragons to have to deal with, uh, especially with no spells or anything. So the queen will get that air defense. He'll pop the ability. He'll get the expo, too. Possibly one other thing before she goes down. But that's about it. And uh, we'll see if he's going to be able to kind of storm this base. I don't think so, though. Um, the, the expo, all those defenses, just too much of a stronghold here, not to mention any traps that could be lurking. Uh, yeah, this one, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it through, but I'm, I'm not too sure about it. Um, yeah, just not going to get it here. Nice try. I mean, I think if the wall breakers were a little bit earlier, it would have made the difference because he needed the queen to enter the base and take out those air defenses before she walked too far and the healers cut into the range, uh, too quickly here. So um, this one's just about over. He'll get some, you know, solid percentage, but not the three star, uh, which is all that matters, of course. So, uh, yeah, nice try there to Marihan, Mar Marihan. Uh, <laughs> I'll just stop. Nice try to Mary, and uh, we'll go ahead and back out. Actually, nothing else going in. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I will be back, maybe catch some Town Hall 9s or maybe some 10 v 11s. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Ray's. Yeah, Ray's going in here. Um, this is something I was planning with him and uh, one other member with for a little while. We'll see how it goes. So I am kind of familiar with the plan here. Basically, he's going to try to bring the queen uh, down towards where the king is. Just have her walk downwards. Um, and then drop in a kill squad around 3 o'clock and just use hogs at like 6 o'clock um, or where needed depending on how the base is still left up. So kind of a little bit of liberty, freedom to drop his uh, his hogs where needed. Right here the queen's going to take out the town hall. It looks like, okay, she'll go the right way. Um, we'll see how she does here. Some Teslas up top. He said if there was a Tesla farm by the town hall, he would deploy his hogs up there. We'll see if the two Teslas that are up there warrant the hogs. It'll be interesting to see that. The queen, meanwhile, going downwards. Going to have to pop the ability, it looks like, to deal with the king. And uh, the wizards creating the funnel. Everything looking okay. But there's the ability. He got that. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this shapes up. Still early. Too hard to tell. Here's the king, the bowlers, uh, making their way on in here. 
The queen's going to be kind of stuck on this trash, so hopefully she won't go down. Although right there, a healer hits a seeking air mine, and she's just gotten range of the uh, two defenses. This isn't looking good for the queen. Meanwhile, the hogs come in up top. I think a good decision to put them in up there, but there's a giant bomb. Spring traps, they're taking some damage. He's losing some hogs. Going to have to heal them right there is the heal. And the queen actually looks like she stepped out of range. Um, I thought she was going to go down, but when I look back at her, she's fine. That's going to be important for the end of this attack. The king's still up, looking actually pretty solid here. Dropped um, a few troops on the bottom, and uh, yeah, this one's going to be possibly close, but I like it, especially with the queen still up. Uh, 50 seconds, that seems like plenty of time. Should pop the king's ability just to get him going soon. Um, don't want to hold on to that too long. You want to get those barbarians going. Um, right, those right as the wizard towers go down, maybe get rid of the splash damage. Get those barbarians out there. Uh, 30 seconds. I think he's got this. Not a ton of troops, but the heroes and a few uh, barbs, it looks like, should be enough. Yeah, a few wizards, too. This one's going to be a triple. Nice attack to raise. Good stuff here. Um, looked a little close at first, and uh, I'm surprised the queen didn't go down when she had the expo and archer tower, but some of that trash must have drawn her out a little bit lucky i guess but you know a three star is a three star he'll get it with about five seconds remaining so <laughs> very close but uh but good stuff to raise getting the triple our number 30 with um not the max heroes you typically see actually so uh yeah okay we'll give him a woo and then we'll kind of back out see if we can catch some other attacks in just a moment Oh, here we go. This one's been going on for a little bit, <laughs> a little too long for my liking. I, I kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye. Looks like I didn't miss too much here. My apologies. Uh, I guess we have uh, Aerilis. Just dropped the, uh, the king down to trade for the queen. Test the farm pops. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Or, I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I guess he got what he wanted. The CC lure and the queen. Um, the test those are just kind of there. Uh, his uh, balloons will have to deal with them. Pops the, or doesn't pop the queen, rages her up. You know, one thing, I think it's appropriate to rage the queen up here, but oftentimes, um, and I was talking about this with Raze after his attack, the ability is better for the CC troops and the rage is better for defenses because the ability is much shorter and the rage is often more valuable because it lasts so much longer than the ability. The ability is good for when there's just a ton of damage, there's uh, an Inferno Tower, something the Rage can't account for, or just kind of a small encounter like the CC troops that doesn't need a huge boost. But the Rage is better for those sustained periods of damage, so you want to keep that in mind. The ability is not always better than the Rage. Oftentimes the Rage is more valuable, so if you're just dealing with like the CC troops on the outside of the base, go ahead and use the ability and save the Rage. Now you do have to spend more of it of like you know, looking on your screen, scrolling over, dropping the rage in the right place. So if you're busy deploying other stuff, maybe do the ability, but um, the rage is more valuable if you're able to take the time to look over at the queen and drop it on her. Uh, but anyway, I kind of ignored this attack uh, here in that little bird walk, but uh, Aerilis looks like this is going to be a triple, came through the base very nicely, and uh, yeah, has that those last spells looked almost swagged. But I guess the heal kept them up over the Tesla farm. Uh, good stuff there. This one is going to be a triple. Um, we'll just watch him clean it up here. Pops the Queen's ability. Uh, some loons walking. Oh, a troll Tesla in the corner. Interesting. I actually didn't even see that was there. Oh, actually now with time, I was, <laughs> I was checking out. Um, but now I'm checking back in. And this one is not looking too good. If we look at time here, I think this would have been a triple had that Tesla not been there. But now there's the king altar, which should go down. But those balloons, instead of going straight for the town hall, are going to... Oh, and it's going to be the elixir drill. Yeah, the DE drill. That's going to be the key building that's left up. I think the balloons might have gone over to it had the tr troll Tesla not been there. Yep, it's going to go down to about a third of its health, but that's going to be about it. Um, really nice try. I, I, <laughs> my bad there. Doesn't get it. Uh, anyway... Uh, we, we'll go ahead and wait for the next attack. Okay, sorry I'm late on this one too. Uh, it's hard to catch these right as they happen, and people tend to drop their troops quickly. This is Tom Bombottle. 
Boom Beetle. We'll go with Bame or Tom Boom Bomb Be Dial. Let's go with that. Um, Tom going in here, and uh, this one looks to be just kind of a traditional uh, La Luna attack here. Not the best opener per se. I uh, kind of an interesting approach here. Uh, not that only got really one air defense for the price of a golem and the heroes so not the best value to be honest but this base a little bit lower level with the expos and stuff um, and the sweepers not being quite maxed got decent value the queen does not go down but he has a skelly spell for her anyway so if he drops that he should be okay um, I guess he's kind of doing a two-part deployment almost uh, kind of abandoned the initial balloons on the bottom coming strong at the top here the CC troops got a little bit weird on him, and the witch is still up. The baby dragon fortunately went down. That would have been a pretty tough thing to overcome had the baby dragon still been up. But the witch herself is not much of an issue. I think there might be a Valk or something left up also. Uh, but the balloon's coming through looking okay. Has the rage, the heal, and the skelly spell. That's quite a few spells left up. Kind of uh, waltzing his way through the base here. Last Lava Hound about to explode. Might actually not explode off this air defense. Uh, it'll actually go out and tank a little bit more, perhaps. And uh, I guess we'll just have to kind of uh, attack these last few buildings with his remaining spells. Fortunately, the Queen goes on to the Hound. That will uh, tank her, allow the Hound to pop to get some pups for cleanup. Also, there goes the Skelly spell to take out the Queen. Down she goes. And uh, looking good here. Not a ton of cleanup, but I think, you know, more than the last attack for sure. Uh, this one should be a triple if everything goes right. He has some balloons left to deploy, I guess, just kind of looking to see where to deploy those. There they go, um, and has an archer as well. So, nice stuff there to, to Tom. Uh, definitely a little bit um, shaky on the start there. Probably not what he was planning on doing with the entry, but... A little bit of room for error on these Town Hall 9 bases, and uh, this one's no exception, especially with the little bit lower level uh, defenses in some parts of it. So, good stuff. We will back out, see if anything else is going on, give him a woo, and uh, you know perhaps we can catch some 10v11 or 10v10. I'll see if I can catch some of that for you guys as we get later into the war here. Here's that uh, 10v11 I was talking about. Oh, hit scout by accident there. Watch live. Um, here we go. <laughs> We're in. Uh, just started here with Tornado Top Links. I think this is actually Oas is his name. He's using the Top Links account. Uh, Tornado Top Hat being our leader. This is one of his many accounts of the Tornado Top uh, account family, if you want to call it that. But um, interesting base. They have some good Town Hall 11 bases. Um, they're very open. There's not a whole lot of like uh, closed off compartments. There's all these little pieces of walls missing to try to draw your troops in the wrong direction. So funneling is very important here. Um, OWASP is basically going to do what looks to be a queen walk on the bottom, create the funnel, has the bowlers, probably he'll do some like a golem and some bowlers on the other side and then send the main force up the gut is typically how it goes. Um, but has a long ways to go, my bad on that, a long ways to go before he gets to the town hall here, um, pretty deep in the base, but uh, definitely achievable. So the queen, take out all this stuff, and the funnel's not perfect on the bottom side there. The baby dragon went down, I guess, a little bit quicker than he would have liked, but um, right here the queen will step up, she'll take out these defenses, and hopefully she will go the right way. Um, assuming, yeah, he probably wants her to go up to the left there. There's some minions to help create the funnel. I think this, she'll target the DE drill, and then she should go up to the cannon. Nope, through the wall. Interesting choice there. I'm not sure what she's targeting at the moment. Maybe it's the bomb tower. But honestly, the archer tower seems like, or the, uh, sorry, the cannon seems like the closest thing. And definitely the easiest path would just be to step up and target it. But the queen works in mysterious ways for sure. We'll see how this ends up affecting the attack. There's the king, the golem. Um, hopefully he's not going into panic mode. That can happen sometimes when things don't quite go perfectly. But has another rage. The queen's going to be fine, actually. No infernos or anything like that. And the funnel was created by the king. And 
the bowlers should all go into the base. So actually not looking too bad here. The queen's going to join up with everything. We'll see what's in the CC. If it's a hound, it might be an issue for the queen. But has so many bowlers left up. Heal, rage, another rage going down right here. This is actually looking very nice. Queen on the town hall. Yep, this one is... And actually, the CC troops were taken out at the beginning. My bad. Yeah, the CC troops went down at the beginning of the attack. That's why nothing's coming out. Um, crush this base. He's going to get up to maybe like 60, 65% here. If everything keeps rolling along, he'll pop the Queen's ability. <clears throat> the bowler's still doing some work here. Yeah, easy uh, 60. Um, probably will get higher here. Has some archers as well. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. This will be very helpful in the war. Love getting these Town Hall 11s on the first try. I just really freeze up attacks for other places where they're needed. 67% awesome stuff. We'll give him a woo. And uh, I'll hang out, see if I can catch maybe one more for you guys uh, before I sign off here. <clears throat> uh, here we go, guys. Welcome to the the next day of, uh, of battle day. Uh, this is all the way a day after the last attack you guys probably saw. Um, if I'm uploading these in order, which I always do. Uh, the last attack was last night that you guys kind of saw. Now this one is in the morning. Uh, getting into the 10v10s. I wanted to catch at least 10, one 10v10. I do have an attack to get to, so this will be the only attack I can record. Then I have to get uh, focused on planning. But I want to show you guys at least one of these because they are fun... In my opinion, the most uh, interesting uh, attacks to watch, these 10v10s. This one, um, we saw a, a scout, and we saw, I believe, one 10v10 attempt already on this base. Now, Black Ice looking to clean this one up. We'll see how this one ends up going. There's the king, uh, the jump. This you know attack has been tested uh, once, or actually twice, really. The scout was the same plan. So things should go right. I think he's making a few tweaks here to uh, to try to make the difference because the last uh, attempt was pretty close. He needs to get the uh, the two air defenses, and not gonna happen. Looks like that's tough. Um, okay, the queen did her job. Just he needed that one air defense. It's gonna be tough with that air defense left up, especially in the place it is. Kind of an awkward place. Not really tanking anything. Um, but he has two minutes left, has to decide what he's going to do. Oh, and to make things worse, the hound just popped. Um, <laughs> not looking good here. He'll drop a few minions, they'll take it out. Uh, not much of an issue there. The pups actually go down fairly easily. Uh, okay, has a minute 45. Let's see if you can work some magic here. There's the hound, there's the loons. Basically, the plan was to deploy in kind of a... Uh, counterclockwise fashion around the base. The deployment was pretty good in the last attack, just uh, a few adjustments would have made the difference, but with that air defense up, it's very unpredictable. He's going to drop a few balloons directly onto it with the haste. They get it taken out, but that's diverting balloons from what would have been in his main force. He also gets the Tesla, so not bad value. Um, rages through the first inferno, it goes down. Troll Tesla in the corner has been taken care of, or not, no, never mind. Still a Troll Tesla left up in the corner there, uh, but he might be able to drop another loon on it if he sees it. Yeah, there it goes. There's the loon and the troll Tesla. Uh, the queen, did he drop the scaly on her? It's hard to tell what's going on. Yeah, the queen's down. Um, the heel looking good. This is looking not bad. Has another haste left over. Things are looking really, really good here. Um, yeah, and he has a healer. Where'd that come from? A swag healer. Uh, okay, not sure what, what the deal is with that, but... 14 troop space to swag. We'll see where he drops it. He might have been trying to do the healer trick where he drops the healer, then drags it across the base with like a uh, and a few archers to try to get like the the uh, seeking air mine soaked up or something. Sometimes people do that. They like haste a healer across the base to soak up a ton of traps. But honestly, I don't know. I didn't see any opportunity to do that. So. Um, Okay, nice, awesome three-star, huge comeback, great adjustments, and in the end, he crushed the base with 14 troop space to swag, plus whatever was left over uh, that was still up. Thank you guys for watching. I have my attack to get to. Um, the first one was almost a triple, very close, uh, but I have another one to get to, and you can see all the bases right here. This one should be an interesting end to the war. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.